less intense. I think I... I need it. hurting. I can feel. I feel it's... So, what's next? We're outmatched, we're alone, and... And... What is that noise? It's coming from over there. Uh, you gotta get better boots, Crow. I could hear you coming a mile away. Now, Aldrin, <laughs> he could sneak up on a fella. You're not Crow. Well, I'll be damned. Cade. How long has it been? A lifetime. The kid told me a few guns were on their way. Said the Vanguard would send their best. It's real good to see you two. I finally have someone to talk to about Crow's stupid haircut. Come on, I'm guessing you have questions. And I won't say I have answers, but let's talk. I like Crow's haircut. <sighs> well, where to even start? I died. You probably remember that. Not great. Partly my fault. Lesson learned, let's not dwell. And after that, nothing. But not a bad nothing. A peaceful nothing. I think I felt her there too, my ghost. Sundance, she was part of me. Or I was part of her. Like we were two cards shuffled back into our deck, whole again. And then there was, well, there was pain. Separation, something pulling me out. I woke up here in this body alone. No ghost, no way to use the light. And what could make this traumatic experience better than finding my killer waiting for me? But we talked it out because we're adults. He seems nicer these days. Yeah, pretty low bar, I'll admit. Because we got bigger problems. Bigger, weirder problems. Crow said this was all inside the Traveler, but I already knew. It's in pain. Pain I can feel. Somebody's up in that monolith with their hand on a knife. Crow calls it the witness. 
And what it's doing out here has a name too. The final sheet. It's the end of everything. So I figure, might as well try to stop it.